Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to use the program Amidst. This program is used to find seeds or even use seeds of your own uh, for Minecraft uh, for the latest version and it will allow you to find like slime chunks and villages and stuff like that. So without further ado let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Amidst. I'll leave a link in the description or you can go to Google and type in this A-M-I-D-S-T. Go to the first link and click on it. Then scroll down till you find the download section, which is this right here. Uh, depending on what you're using, whether you're using Mac, Linux, or Windows, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click on the adf.ly link. Wait for the five second advert thingamajig to go away. And then click skip add when it pops up. And it will just start downloading down here. This is a .exe file, so you can open it straight away. I already have it installed, and I'm going to click on that right now. This window will pop up and depending on what version of Minecraft you're using, uh, you'll want to click on that. I'm going to use 1.8 so double click on that. Now from here it will just show a blank screen, this is nothing at the minute. Now what you can do is you can click on file, new, from seed and what that means is if you have a seed already you can use that and generate the world like that. From file or folder this will let you select the world from your saves folder in your .minecraft. Uh, I personally don't use that method as it's a lot more, uh, not not really difficult, but it's a lot more tedious and annoying to do. And from random seed will give you a random seed uh, whenever you click on this. Now, I'm going to click on from seed, and this will, will pop up. It'll say enter your seed. A random seed will be generated if left blank. So we're going to put our seed in. So to get our seed, we want to go to Minecraft. So open up Minecraft in the version you want to use. Uh, then go to your world or server, you can do whatever, and join the world. And if you type in slash seed into the commands, you will have to have op permissions, I believe, and take this number. And once you've got this number, do control A, control C, go back to a mist, go to file, new, from seed, do control V, and click OK. Now this enter world type means uh, whether it's a default, flat, large biomes or amplified world, we're using default. If you're using amplified for example you would click on this, but we're using default, click OK. And it will generate your world in a midst. And this is probably looking kind of confusing for some, maybe not others. Basically what it's showing me is a grid. Um, I don't really get this grid to be honest, I think it's, yeah it's showing you the grid in every 512 blocks which is kind of cool. Um, these pink or purple blocks show you where slime chunks are so if you want to make a really good slime farm I guess you could find one where there's four right next to each other um, this house shows you where your spawn is um, actually if we go to map layers it will show you what each thing means so the village head obviously indicates villages uh, the, the sandstone indicates temples slash witch huts Stronghold will have the mossy stone brick player icon. I'm not sure what that does. Uh, the nether fortress icons will show nether fortress icons. Um, so yeah, this can be really useful to find these things. And as you can see, there's lots and lots of them scattered across the world. This will go on infinitely, I believe. I've never actually found out and I don't really want to. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Some other functions that it's got is it will automatically find the stronghold if you go to control F and it will point you to the nearest one, I think. Um, also, you can go to coordinates, so if you type in, let's say, 999, I think it needs a comma, and then 123, it will take you to those, somewhere on here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you've found the coordinates of where you want to go, you can then take them from the top right-hand corner, or you can click on the icon, and it will display the coordinates right there for you. You can write them down and put them in chat or whatever, or you can take them from up here if you want to, you know, write them down like that but it's better if you just click on the icon and take them from there go back to minecraft press f3 and then travel your way there so yeah that's pretty much it for this guide uh, if this has helped you in any way at all please let me know in the comments if you have any problems in in like installing this or trying to find something also let me know and i'll try my best to help you out uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye